used car prices are coming down. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal, to remind our audience just how good our reporting has been. Not to brag, but <laughs> back on July 22nd, we published this video, Three Signs a Car Market Crash, Recession 2022 is Inevitable. Then on July 9th, we published another video titled, Car Repossessions Are Crashing Wholesale Used Car Prices. Yep. Used car prices have actually been dropping and no... We're not here to report on a tenth of a point drop in wholesale prices like some YouTubers who have the habit of trying to turn wholesale micro adjustments into news. Right. Well, that said, the drop in actual pricing over the last four months is real, but still it doesn't necessarily mean that now is a great time to buy. You'll see what I mean in a moment. The average price of a used vehicle is down, having fallen for four months in a row, finally dipping below a median price of 24000 in July. That's down from the highest average used vehicle price recorded by Edmonds back in December, which was 29969 That's a 19.91% reduction in just four months. And we think there's actually more to come, so wait for it. Pretty a lot more to come. Yeah, it's pretty amazing for today's car market. But don't be uncorking the champagne and rushing off to a dealer in celebration just yet. As the old adage goes, buying a used car will save you some money. Budget conscious shoppers have traditionally been advised to choose a reliable used vehicle to avoid the higher price and initial depreciation on a new car. But over the last year and a half, nothing about the used car market has been traditional. Nope. Absolutely nothing. The inventory shortage, which began in 2021, has dragged along into 2022. While it initially impacted new vehicle prices, skyrocketing demand and pricing soon followed for used cars too. Before the inventory shortage hit car prices, buying a used vehicle generally allowed shoppers to pay less for the same vehicle versus when it was new. It also let them bypass new car depreciation, traditionally estimated at 20 to 25% as soon as you drove the car off the lot. But such savings are no longer guaranteed today. Based on a price analysis of used vehicle inventory among Cars.com dealers, average used vehicle prices started their ascent in January 2021, and after a steady upward trajectory, they reached a peak in December just under 30000 As compared to previous years, prices have remained elevated, but we have seen a modest dip in recent months. As we've mentioned, the average price for all used models was approximately 24000 last month. Ivan Drury, senior manager of Insights at Edmonds, said, We're still very far away from what anyone who's ever bought a used car in the past will be able to relate to. Amen to that. Yeah. True, even nearly a 20% price drop doesn't bring it there. While prices are dropping and finally heading in the right direction, they're still historically very high. Prices have fallen fairly consistently since hitting the high water mark last December, but not by a ton yet and not in every market around the country. You could find in your area that little to nothing has changed or you could be pleasantly surprised if you haven't looked in a while. Sure. If you really need a car and you're financially prepared for the economic winds that are coming, you could try a little car shopping. The recent drop in prices hasn't been noticeable enough for folks to want to make a dead sprint to the car dealer, uh -huh. but the trend does give you the gift of additional time. In other words, you won't likely have to make any rash buying decisions for fear of skyrocketing prices like in the past months. On the other hand, cheaper used car prices could have the opposite effect for those of you who are looking to trade in your vehicle to knock down the price of the brand new one. As Ivan Drury from Edmund said, buyers will likely start seeing depreciation chip away at their vehicle values, which could make someone want to line up their next purchase sooner than later. Quite frankly, I disagree with Mr. Drury. I've never made a buying decision based on the projected value of my trade-in for a very simple reason. I'm not a fan of trading in a car to a dealership at all. I say, screw them guys. I'll always sell my vehicle private party or just donate the vehicle. I donated three cars in the last two years alone. It might interest you guys to know that in all this pricing madness that the older used cars have been hit the hardest. So don't go looking for a five to 10 year old ride in the attempt to save money. Compare the current 20% market drop to this information. So for example, in July, 2019, a three-year-old used vehicle, a model 2016, had an average list price of 22,675. 
By contrast, the average list price in July 22 for a three-year-old car, a 2019, was 33292 a 47% spike over the course of three years. The increase gets even more severe when you look at older cars. A five-year-old 2014 model in July 2019 had an average list price of $15,999 while a five-year-old 2017 model in July 2022 carried an average price of 25891 That's a 62% jump. Yeah. And surprisingly, the most dramatic increase is for much older vehicles. A 10-year-old 2009 used car in July 2019 had an average price of 7997 right? Well, not anymore. It catapulted to 16331 for a 10-year-old 2012 in July 2022. That's a whopping 104% increase. The truth is, there are still a ton of three, five, and 10 year old vehicles selling out there. And these are all vehicles that have older technology when it comes to utilizing fuel. This makes them a great candidate for the fuel economy improvements you've heard people experiencing with the MPG Extreme X Cap. So if you're driving a bit older vehicle, gas or diesel, Pay attention, there are tons of new customer reports coming in from all around the country right now. But before we share that, I have an idea. I'm quite aware that many people are suffering financially in this country right now, and I want to help you. If your family owns a vehicle similar to the ones coming up in the viewer test results, but you simply cannot afford to buy some X caps for yourself, but you could use a little economic relief from high fuel costs, well, send us an email to the email address that we'll share at the end. Tell us what you're driving, a little bit about your economic hardship. Make sure to include a mailing address. And this coming week, we'll draw three people to get a 20 pack of X caps from the Homework Guy team. A $40 value free of charge. We even pay the shipping. What do you think of that, Liz? It's wonderful. Of all the ideas you've ever come up with, Kevin, that's one of them. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, with an update on MPG X Caps. Here at the Homework Guy channel, we have found a proven solution to help you save money at the pumps with premium X Caps from MPG Extreme. However, as good as these X Caps are, I'm here to tell you that they're not for everyone. We don't want to give false hope to people who are already driving highly fuel efficient vehicles, like hybrids, for example. Turbocharged vehicles are also not ideal for the X Cap either. But if the vehicle you drive is two, three, four, five years old or more, and it burns gas or diesel, the MPG Extreme X Cap can make a lot of difference for you. Well, how does it work? It's a fuel catalyst that optimizes fuel economy, boosts octane, improves power and performance, reduces emissions. Well, that's good news for environmentally aware folks who have an interest in reducing your carbon footprint. And it's made right here in the good old US of A. One X Cap treats 11 to 20 gallons, just put the appropriate amount into your tank each time you fill up your truck, car, or sport utility vehicle. Now, let's check out these great reports. First, a reminder of our own test, the 2007 Ford F-150 went from 15.88 to 19.43 miles per gallon. 22.3% improvement. And then there was the Channel 3 investigative report that showed their vehicle going from 19.23 to 23.8, a 23.5% improvement. And then our viewers and followers started trying it. Our viewer Arthur sent in his test results on a 2019 Hyundai Santa Fe. He went from 27 to 32.6 miles per gallon, a 20.7% improvement. A local contractor in Wilson, North Dakota sent us cell phone pics of his results with a 2005 Ford F-150 going 70 miles an hour down the highway. He went from 14 to 17 miles per gallon, a 21% improvement. He also took his boat out on the lake last weekend and reported that after dropping an X cap into the tank, 30 minutes later, he noticed a big horsepower difference on how the boat easily popped the skiers out of the water. He was very smart thinking outside the box. Bottom line is you can use it in your watercraft too. Another viewer, Ken, sent in these test results on his 2005 Ford Escape. He went from 18 to 22.4 miles per gallon, a 24.5% improvement. And the best report yet came from viewer Gary on his diesel truck. His Ford F-350 went from 14.2 to 18.2 miles per gallon, a whopping 28.1% improvement. Yes, the fuel cap works on diesel as well, and diesel vehicles do seem to do the best. Dang, it's so nice to be proven 100% right about something 
some people unwisely doubted me on. If you own a vehicle, anything like these great candidates for the MPG Extreme Fuel Cap, we'll start enjoying the benefits right away. Just click the hyperlink that is appearing in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. By the way, you can pre-mix fuel in a 5-gallon gas can with a half X-cap, and you can use it in lawn equipment, snow blowers, snowmobiles, and four-wheelers. You can also use it in jet skis, ATVs, tractors, combines, motorhomes, essentially everything that burns fuel. Support our channel and save yourself some fuel expense today by ordering a good supply of X caps at the link appearing on the screen or find the hyperlink in the description box below or in a pinned comment in the comment section along with some brief instructions. If you choose the ISR option, which is the best value, 100 caps for $199, we are here to help support you. Order up now, start saving on fuel costs today. If you got questions or need help, email me at kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com or call or text to 701-441-3399. Always glad to take your call or your text. MPG XCAP has proven to be the real deal. Boom.